Assalamualaikum and good morning and happy Friday. I always like a Friday. Uh, we're going into uh, transcription. Um, if you remember, uh, this slide is from the previous lecture. Uh, so basically, we're going to we have we ha had a look at uh, replication, which is to ensure that DNA is being passed on from generation to generation. And now we are looking at the function of DNA molecule, and then that in that we will look at transcription and translation. Now, now we know we know now that genes uh, determine our uh, trait, right? But um, before that, you know, you, again, you 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 need to transport yourself many many years back. Um, well, even even when Mendel was doing, he says it was factor, and and you know, and you know how how uh, we then thought that uh, the chromosome um, behaves like what Mendel has predicted, and then we determined that DNA instruction. So even then, uh, they don't know how genes function. Um, Garrett Archibald Garrett, he's a doctor and he's uh, also a biochemist. Um, what he did, what he was one of the first. He was the father of medical genetics. All right, uh, and he was looking at uh, different types of metabolic diseases, and he uh, he made the the connection that if there is a problem with one enzyme, then in a particular biochemical pathway, it leads to a particular disorder. Enzyme A, disorder A. Enzyme B. Then you get the disorder type B and enzyme C, di disorder type C. So he says from 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 his his observation is that, you know, genes makes enzymes, and an enzyme is very specific for a particular function, and because an enzyme there is a deficiency in enzyme, so it leads to this disorder, and disorder leads to the character that we see. That's his his one of the first. Um, that this happened way back in the 1900s when they showed a link between the gene and the phenotype. Um, of course, in in much of the advances in sciences, you know, people were not ready. Uh, only about 30, 30 years or later, uh, Biddle and Tatum did uh, work in Neurospora. Now, Neurospora is the bread mold. Uh, you know, if you leave your bread um, for weeks, and then uh, you'll see the, the mold. So that's Neurospora. So what now? In order for you to understand this experiment, this is what he did. Uh, there's a few things here that you need to see. So he took the spores and uh, he exposed them to x-rays. What does x-ray do? It actually, now we know that uh, x-rays uh, uh, causes uh, damage in DNA. And then, now also what I want to, to draw your attention is that look here, it says complete medium with vitamins, amino acids, and so on. And what's the difference between complete medium and minimal medium? Minimal medium doesn't have anything. It just has the very minimum that, that is required for any, uh, 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 what's this, a fungus to grow. So complete medium in, means you put everything in. Also means that complete medium is minimal medium plus vitamins, plus amino acids, plus purines, and plus. Now, if the fungus is healthy, there's nothing wrong with fungus, it will be able to grow in minimal medium. That means why? Because it can make its own, it doesn't need uh, the supply of amino acids, doesn't su need supply of purines, so they can all make it. So that's why only wild type, which is uh, non-mutant, a healthy type can live in minimal medium. Now, so if you can understand that, so now you can look at the experiment. So he took some spores, and expose them to x-ray so of course you expect some uh, damage and then from this um, well he made crosses and then uh, he grew them in complete medium right so again complete medium means you supply with all that now he also found that this will not grow in minimal medium so that means to say there's something wrong with the, the fungus Right, it, it, it can only grow in complete medium, but it cannot grow in minimal medium. So he made a, one step further in the experiment and says, okay, this is the control, grow in complete medium, doesn't grow in minimal medium. Now what if you have minimal mediums plus purines? What if it's minimal medium plus acid? And then what is minimal medium plus vitamins? And he was able to get growth if 
uh, vitamins were provided. So now that's again that again shows that the mutation, well, whatever the effect of X-ray has made the fungus unable to make certain types of vitamins. And from there, now he says, okay, he go one step further and then grew it again in minimal medium plus very specific vitamins. In this case, it's all vitamins. So now he made um, growth, tried to grow in thymine, riboflavin, uh, pyridoxine, you know, all different types. And finally, he's got growth in pentothenic acid. So what has occurred here is actually the mutation has disrupted an enzyme or that, that is, is required for the processing of pentothenic acid because and because that's been disrupted, that means it cannot make pentothenic acid. And now you get a mutant fungus that can only grow if you supply it uh, with pentothenic acid. So the conclusion from here is that again, is the same as Archibald Garrett. So he says, well, Beetle and Tetum says, again, an exposure to external factors such as the um, uh, X-ray will result in the disruption of one particular enzyme or any particular enzyme. So in this case, it's just one. And they can actually show that, uh, in this case, only the enzyme that uh, results in loss of ability for the fungus to make pantothenic acid was identified for this particular spore. Other spores, maybe other enzymes or maybe purines and so on. So in the end, he had they had a, a collection of different types of mutants. So these are two of the important uh, experiments to show that the direct link between a gene, um, its function and how it determines the phenotype. But um, at that time, um, you still thought as one gene uh, is is important just to, to determine only one enzyme. Um, now that definition has has evolved um, to fit the current knowledge. All right, so uh, we'll look at the transcription process in the next few videos. Bye.